In his book, Sir Thomas More was the very first to write about a utopia, which is a term used to represent an ideal fantasy world. More's novel depicts a sophisticated, self-contained civilization on an island where residents have a shared way of life and culture. He created the term utopia from the Greek utopos, which means nowhere. It was a joke, the practically identical Greek term utopos meaning a nice spot. It is uncertain as to whether the book is a genuine representation of a superior way of life or a parody that offered more of a venue from which to examine the turmoil of European politics. Thus, at the crux of the matter, there is a critical question. Can such a utopian world ever be realized? We will ponder on that question as we explore the city of tomorrow, Neom. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated whenever we upload new videos. With that said, let's get back to the content, shall we? Moore describes Utopia as a great place, although an unattainable one. And isn't it the most accurate thing you'll encounter that in this broken world, a perfect paradise appears just out of reach? But as we all know, Whatever is believed unachievable, humans will try to attain it and make it a reality. Indeed, the age of yearning for utopia has long passed, and they are doing it in style and elegance. This is Neom, a $500 billion super city in the development stages. Saudi officials have hailed it as the world's most imaginative endeavor. This Neom will be a 16-borough metropolis on the Red Sea coast in the northwestern Saudi province of Tabuk. You'll view the Neom vision as a daring and ambitious fantasy that the men and women behind it believe is a glimpse of what a new future may look like. In reality, Neom translates literally to a new future. The concept and purpose of Neom are apparent, but can it be accomplished if it actually is the most ambitious undertaking in the world? In October 2018, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman informed Bloomberg that Neom will be finished in 2025 and that Phase 1 is coming along nicely. Prince Mohammed bin Salman is well known for his extravagant spending habits. He has spent $500 million on a boat, $300 million on a French chateau, and $150 million on a Leonardo da Vinci artwork. The Crown Prince has even stated that Neom would ultimately be home to flying automobiles, robot servants, robotic dinosaurs, and even a man-made moon. On January 29, 2019, Saudi Arabia announced the establishment of a $500 billion closed joint stock corporation called Neom. The purpose of his entity which is completely owned by a public investment fund, is to create the economic zone of Neom. The project is intended to be entirely fueled by renewable sources of energy. Nadmi Al Nasser is the CEO of the Neom Joint Stock Company, and he and his staff have made it a priority to make Neom an example of a future clean and renewable metropolis. Neom claims to be a site focused on creating modern benchmarks for community health environmental preservation, and the effective and productive use of technology, as well as introducing a new paradigm for urban sustainability. It is being created, built, and managed autonomously, free of the antiquated economic and environmental infrastructure that impedes other countries. This aspiration is likely possible given the location of this future metropolis. Neom is ideally placed at one of the world's most important commercial crossroads. Neom's global positioning will make it a prominent place for trade innovation and expertise because of its close proximity to India and Europe. In less than 4 hours, 40% of the world's population will be able to contact Neom. However, Neom's location is fortunate not just because of its position on the globe, but also because of its terrain. The grounds for Neom are a stunning sight, with diversified topography, 
shielded by mountains and soothed by the Red Sea winds. Because of the city's mild Mediterranean climate, it would be far colder than most of the Middle East's scorching temperatures. Neom would also include around 280 miles of coastline with beaches and coral reefs, as well as mountains with peaks reaching up to 8,000 feet above sea level. This implies that Neom will be able to accommodate whatever climate-specific activity you choose. This grandiose endeavor, according to Neom, is an effort to accomplish something never done before. And it arrives at the moment when the world desperately needs new ideas and alternatives. Before we proceed, feel free to share your insights about this utopian project so far. Once you're done, let's continue! The concept that Neom will be a living center of excellence, a location where entrepreneurship and innovation will chart the road for this future, is what is driving this endeavor and garnering all of the billions of dollars spent. Neom will contain towns and cities, ports and industrial zones, research institutions, sports and entertainment sites, and tourism destinations. It is currently projected that Neom will have somewhat more than 1 million people and based on the richness and expectations of the city, the occupants of Neon will be a varied population from anywhere in the globe with significant resources. This ambition of the Royal Highness, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia, is a highlight of the 2030 vision plan to strengthen and expand the Saudi economy and position the nation to take a leadership role in global development. Neom is an important aspect of Saudi Arabia's quest to become a world powerhouse. While Saudi Arabia is driving and initially funding the initiative, it is a worldwide effort that will be led, manned, and funded by individuals from all over the world. Owing to their oil assets, the Saudis have gained numerous friends from all around the world throughout the years. Historically, the sale and trade of this black gold have been the most important element of the Saudi economy. And the richness of this natural resource accounts for a significant portion of the country's worldwide dominance. Saudi Aramco, the country's oil giant, is the world's most lucrative enterprise. Last year alone, Saudi Aramco hauled over $111 billion in net profits. In comparison, ExxonMobil, the most valuable oil company in the United States generated $20.8 billion in net profit, whereas even Apple only made roughly $60 billion. However, like any significant epic and world-altering ambition, the expectation of Neom has not been without debate. Neom signed on as the principal partner for the summer season of the League of Legends European Championship in early 2020. League of Legends is the most watched esport in the world. And as you may expect, this collaboration was rather significant. The partnership was bought out for a handsome price, but it lasted only a short time. Riot Games, the developer of League of Legends, discontinued their sponsorship relationship with Neom with just months after the announcement. This cancellation came as a result of a response from fans and participants. Sadly, the cause is not so pleasant. According to reports, Saudi officials are forcibly removing and even executing Waitat tribal people in order to pave the way for the city's development. Certain historians in the audience may not be surprised by these reports. The League of Legends cooperation is said to be an attempt by Neom and Saudi Arabia to enhance their reputations. This method is generally mapped out and it is known as sports washing. This conflict is undoubtedly a major roadblock for the NEOM project. But bear in mind that the project's initial goal was to transform Saudi Arabia from an oil superpower with a less than desirable track record into a world leader in technology and innovation. An opportunity to correct the country's injustices in market reform, not just for the country but the entire world might undoubtedly be in the $500 billion metropolis. We hope this video has enlightened you. So, if you are interested in content like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button because we will release more videos like this. 
Thank you for viewing. Until then, 